Hi everyone, back in Robin Hood's Bay, although I've gone all the way around to the uh, the far bits of the upper Myers uh, as you get all the way around Robin Hood's Bay, back to the bays that I had a lot of success in uh, last time I was out. Uh, you might have noticed hard hat, taking a few more precautions after taking a very close call with hitting a rock in the head. Uh, I don't want to take any more risks, uh, it'd be a bit of a disaster. Um, so I'm starting to look through all the falls. Got my first fairly fresh find. Uh, little deck or possibly a perinoceros need to have a closer look at it but it's fresh out so uh, hopefully we'll get a few more like that After all that uh, smacking, just a really poorly preserved deck. Big block, I promise, unfortunate. Uh, fairly fresh fall, you can see lovely ammonites with some shells amongst it as well. Uh, but it's fairly fresh because none of this is broken down yet. This will all fall apart in the first big waves. And you can hear some more rocks falling in the background, so I'm gonna keep moving away. Always nice to see a big chunk of phyllotherus. You can tell these because they've got these lovely little waves on it. And uh, uh, you never see them whole because they are enormous ammonites, as you can probably tell by the size of just that piece. Uh, and they tend to break apart. I say you never find them whole. Never find them whole this big. Um, unless you're incredibly lucky. But uh, still nice to see. And some fresh falls of knots and nodules out. So there's one here. That's a bit broken. So we'll leave that one. Another one here, a bit squished. So another one that looks quite nice here. Yeah, it looks okay. And another potential here. I'll have a look at that one. Mm, no joy. So a few ammonites just knocking in this little spot. So we'll have a look around and see if we can find some more things and uh, maybe split some of them. Long time viewers know I love a good hildy. Sadly, this was not a good hildy. A bit squished and broken, but uh, good start. Uh, we found this within what within 30 minutes of being here, so hopefully we'll find some more. Saw this nodule sticking out. Looked like someone had already given it a tap on that side, but I looked on the other side, and you can see this sort of line of what looks like worn shells. So I gave it another tap, and uh, yeah, that's uh, not too bad, I don't think. Look at all those little ammonites in there, little ellies. Uh, beautiful. And I think there'll be a lot more as well underneath this, so uh, this will probably go off to get prepped. Look at this bad boy. So a deck, but it's also showing off some iridescence already and just sticking out like that. That's just how I found it. Nice. Lovely bit of this sort of iron stone with a bunch of pleuros in it. All worn out, but it's in the bedrock, so they're, they're staying there. But it's a beautiful piece here, absolutely beautiful. A few more nodules to try and split down, see how they go. I'm not optimistic about some of these big ones, but. Uh, not quite. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. Perfect. <laughs> right down to the middle. We said we like good hildies on this channel, and lucky what we have. A good hildy. Another one that picked up to go in the bag straight away. Nice little perinoceros by the looks of it. This little node sticking out. That looks to be a beauty. A nice example of why it's always worth checking away from the cliffs too, because sometimes you find these little areas where they've all washed up and so you get these beautiful little collection of a deck, a slightly less good deck, but that one might split with a chisel to make it look nicer. Um, another deck. Oh, Paranosaurus in fact. And as you can hear, the rocks are very active again in this spot. So I'm keeping a lot further away from the cliffs and you find these little areas where there's loads of ammonites. That's got another one in it. 
Uh, you can just see the keel of uh, there. So just a good example of why you don't have to be under the cliffs to have uh, good spots. Sometimes you just need to have a look around and you'll find that there's some areas that these nodules all kind of end up in. Another lovely little deck in there. That should open the treat later. Another big rock fall with all the dust coming down. Prove that even in the middle of summer, rock falls still very, very common. Uh, that's why this area is so good for the uh, pickings. But it does mean it's very dangerous if you're near the cliffs. Picked up this really scrappy bit of what I think is bone. Um, has the right texture, has the right color. It's just very scrappy if it is. I uh, couldn't even tell you what it might be from. Picked this up thinking, ooh, that's a deck. But look how fat that is. That's a really fat deck. If it is, I think it might be one of the other things that looks like a deck but is chunkier. I'm going to see if I can split this off and uh, be back with you shortly. Well, it couldn't have come away any nicer. The thing is perfect down to the center. A shame the rest of it's gone, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know what it is. It's pretty much, pretty sure it's not a deck just based on how deep and how fat it is. Uh, so I'll get some idea on that and get back to you. I was just thinking, I've not had a lot of luck with hildies today. What is this we've got sticking out here? That's the edge of a hildy. Not a pretty one, she's been pretty water worn, but uh, middle should all be there, so that'll be good. Just one of these beautiful pyrite DAC blocks and there's just everywhere in it but it's so golden as you can see that's just pure pyrite that's not going to open, that's not going to prep nicely so I'm sadly just going to leave that here but uh, always nice to see Just had an absolute heartbreaker of a, a fossil might probably go back together but it's going to be a lot of work uh, It's a Paranoceros uh, and it was exposed on the outside just a little bit, so I thought it might be able to get it to split. And the reason it didn't split nicely is because there's a big, a big bloody bivalve sitting right in the middle of it. <laughs> Not been recording many of the splits because I've been having a bit of a disaster with them recently. More rock falls. Um, so yeah, for example, that Paranoceros was a double and it split and it had one in each direction so they split badly the pair of them. Um, but this one, this one did not split badly. That is an absolute stunning Dactyloceros specimen. Wow. And it's so pyrite rich and also the thickness of it means that there could be more in there. Uh, we'll drop a few of these off to get prepped at some point I'm sure. That's just beautiful though. I don't know what it is. I, I've never seen a Paranoceros with a clam before. And I've got my second one in the same day. So yeah, it's uh, all broken apart. But you can see the clam, or bivalve, sorry, not, not clam, but bivalve there. And the ammonite right here. And this one, thankfully, didn't fall into a million pieces. So we'll go back together. Uh, and hopefully we'll prep well. Weird. Uh, I would say that's a pretty good haul from Robin Hood's Bay um, slash Hosker. Um, so this is the upper lias or middle and upper lias stuff. Um, and this is not all of it. There's about three pieces off getting prepped, including a couple of double decks and uh, a, a nice Paranoceros with the bivalve in the middle. Uh, we've got the little Eleganticeros blocks where you can see lots and lots of little Eleganticeros specimens from the top all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so this will get prepped up at some point in the future and its counterpart is quite nice as well. Uh, then we've got the Hildes, which are here. We've got one, two, three, and probably a fourth. Um, we've got this little tiny bone block. Uh, not very exciting, so I'm not going to spend too long on it. We've got a bunch of Paranoceros specimens of varying sizes to the other one which I found. 
this one which which is super deep and I thought it was looked like a duck initially uh, but it's actually uh, a Paranoceros species uh, and hopefully you can see some of the little spines and nodes on the inside uh, just to give you an idea of what it is but it's really fat so very different to the other ones that I've seen before then we've got some beautiful dacks and so the monster that I popped uh, as well as the one I popped live on screen and there's another one here as well that's inside a nodule it's probably a double uh, so that'll get prepped up at some point uh, these uh, end of hunt wrap ups are probably going to end in the next uh, video or so just because they're the bit that most people seem to stop watching at uh, and so I'm going to replace it with uh, a series of uh, smaller videos which are just where are the fossils now and so you see the befores on the hunts uh, and then hopefully we'll get some videos and pictures and um, things of the, the fossils after they've been prepped and tidied so you can have a before and after and see what, what we've got instead um, just because, as I said, this isn't the most popular segment of the videos. And I can understand why. It's not as exciting to look at fossils that you've probably already seen me talked about in the video again. Uh, so that's where we're at. And uh, hopefully I'll be out again fairly soon. Uh, and can bring you some more. Cheers all. See you soon.